What do you learn when you draw do a drawing repeatedly? Uh, repeatedly doing a drawing. Actually, um, it may be a series of drawing. For example, fabric. You set up the fabric, and uh, you have several beautiful ideas about how to do it. Sometimes I try to choose the best one or best two, maybe one horizontally, the other one um, vertically. But sometimes I have several, maybe five ideas about how to do it, and each one seems wonderful and interesting. So I'll do a, a series of fabric that look very similar, but uh, not exactly the same. You may say, I do it repeatedly, but actually I did feel very different when I going on with each one. They give me different uh, feedback. It's, drawing is not like you're a farmer working on a line and uh, the, the paper is your line and you keep working and you get something there. It's not like that. And it's not just a piece of paper, it could go in interactive with you. Although it's not a person, cannot speak like a person, like a friend, but a drawing as it growing, it, it does talk to you in a way. If you are really engaged and really treasure it, it belongs to you and it talks to you. And by doing a drawing, uh, I, I'm doing a series of drawings repeatedly, you will feel more and more intense. Uh, sometimes it's run, running away from you. Why, why running away? Because uh, it's not always there. Uh, sometimes you feel a lot from a work, sometimes feel less from a work, maybe um, because you are not quite okay, or maybe you are sleepy, or some other uh, distraction reasons. But by doing a work repeatedly, for example, this copy, this is my, my third time doing it, and uh, I learn different things. Although you, uh, as my family, you know, watch me doing copy all the time, <coughs> You may couldn't find the differences, cross hatching, cross hatching, layers after layers after layers look so similar. Sometimes maybe you will feel tiresome and meaningless, maybe, but really not. I know each inch of this paper is meaningful and important, and each time I do cross hatching, even though they look similar and looks the same, but I know. Every minute my cross hatching is meaningful because it's depicting something maybe important on the face, the portrait, or drapery, or hands, or maybe just the background. It's very weird. If you do something right, correctly, and it looks good, it's uh, you almost take it take it as granted. It should be like that. But if you do something wrong, for example, the, um, the change, the direction changed from the head and the neck and the shoulders, how this change, how they are connected. If you have something wrong with the perspective in this human figure, the problem jumps out immediately. You will see something wrong there right away. Uh, the background, is it too light, or is it too dark, or it needs some gradation. Uh, if something wrong, it tells you immediately, and you have to work on it. But if it's good, even perfect, looks beautiful, you will take it as granted, it should be like that. <laughs> uh, but if you're actually doing the work, especially it's a big scale drawing, and you know how much work it takes, and how much time it needs, and how much frustrations and painful uh, suffering burdens it's going along with the happiness of creating artwork, the <coughs> 
sublime of creating artwork, also the heaviness of being uh, being um, suffocated, <laughs> and uh, I think the reason for doing a drawing repeatedly may be simply because the work is beautiful. The work is beautiful enough to attract me, to make me want to do it more and more and more and more until I feel, oh, uh, okay, let's move on to the new work. Uh, that's the very simple reason. It's the work itself is beautiful enough to attract me. Uh, there is a reason to do it. For example, this one, I'm looking for an answer. <laughs> that is the gradation from from the lightest light to the darkest dark, um, the brightest forehead until the darkest darkest shadow, the gradation. It sounds very easy. All my teachers told me, and. Uh, what I saw from nature is closer to the light and the contrast is stronger and far away from the light it fading away and it becomes a lot more mild or weaker um, it sounds very easy right but actually when you're rendering a work um, and uh, trying to find the <coughs> logic in the puzzle of light and the shadow and uh, dealing the difficulties of contours of uh, <clears throat> last time you said boundary <laughs> actually it's contour uh, uh, terminators you will know how difficult it is and this work is a beautiful the most beautiful drawing everything in the world, but it confused me and I tried to figure out the reason why it attracted me and why it puzzled me. And I read art stories and I read his biographies, read some essays and I couldn't find the reason. <coughs> I couldn't find the answer. So I, did, I decided, okay, I'll do a copy of it. Well, doing the copy, I actually uh, observe every single detail very very detailed very very carefully and uh, <clears throat> there's no guarantee yet that I can find the answer I need uh, so it's a, a journey uh, it's a question uh, why you're doing the drawing let's make the question simple easier to look at the answer why you do the drawing why you do it repeatedly I think it's because I want to find the answer and uh, I have to do it myself and I have to do it <coughs> my best if I couldn't draw in quiet I prefer some white noise uh, carry along sometimes I imagine I'm um, my studio is in a big factory and some machines going on. Uh, healing is noisy, <laughs> uh, but totally okay. And uh, uh, you think you could repeatedly do a work exactly the same as the original, uh, each one every time looks the same as the previous one, but actually really not. You could never be the same as the original one. And every time you re repeat it, it's different from the last time you did it. And you feel very, very different uh, from the previous trying. Uh, and uh, when you put them together, it's interesting. <laughs> you will look, look back what you have done and uh, uh, everything lost seems comes back to you <laughs> and uh, all the suffering seems uh, really doesn't matter anymore it's all right my drawing with me and uh, you glow and you feel you are che you are be cheated <laughs> uh, it's tricky no matter how hard you work on your 
drawing and uh, how much you learn the endeavor uh, the beautiful lost uh, whatever you going through your mind while doing this work uh, whatever happened in your life while you're doing this work it's all part of it and that they are all connected through your this series of work looks similar or looks repeatedly nothing is wasted nothing's easy uh, relevant nothing is not important in terms of rendering a drawing in terms of within this uh, a lot range could never run out of the range uh, the limitation of paper and the limitation of pencil a limitation of my own comfort zone so small uh, but there is a infinite space so far far away enjoying it, i've seen it and uh, as i know the question it seems easy but it, it could also be very deep drawing could be super heavy and uh, deep and uh, to the end you feel you're still not sure um, and there's no one you could communicate what he think about it or what she has done with his with her pencil um, so drawing uh, repeatedly end up with a self self getting along thing you get you're getting along with your loneliness and you do not suffer with it and it's the most beautiful situation as an artist it's not loneliness actually it's solitude very self-possessed solitude you think about some <clears throat> questions or you you just keep your mind empty very peacefully and coldly working situation that's the most beautiful and uh, my desire actually to be alone mm. and uh, it, I, I wish for I could do this work 10 times and uh, each time I'll try something different material or method or composition or some new trying and then after it's done I'll put all these 10 pieces together on the wall uh, I'll make a tiny book <laughs> it should be very fine <laughs> it should be funny and uh, uh, before you're trying you may think it's impossible but if you dare to, to say you dare to think I only live once he did it why can't I I'm not stupid than him I'm a living life also I should try to see if I can do it I'm not afraid. If I fail, it's a failure. It's just a failure trying, whatever. Uh, who cares, right? Time, some time lost, and I experienced it. It's part of my life. Uh, so it becomes a very fundamental uh, existing thing. What do you do? Why you do it? You love it, or you feel nothing, or you feel it's more than you love it. It's something not not only about self principle uh, not self um, discipline it's not like a soldier doing something on on duty on, on night watch not like that really 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 more than that a lot deeper than you think what is it and uh, it's impossible to communicate if you are not at that level even someone talk to you you couldn't get it at all what I do <laughs> I used to remember something in my mind until it takes years to understand what it means and then it takes years to put it in my work to make some progress to really arrive at that point of that sentence I'm a slow learner, <laughs> very uh, very limited brain. But uh, uh, back to your question, <clears throat> I think doing a drawing repeatedly is the best way to understand a work and the best way to 
uh, communicate with the draftsman somewhat even 500 years ago <laughs> but you could understand certain things more than his uh, friends at, at his time while those friends didn't did a uh, beautiful work better than you and you make it what happens <laughs> because it's the depth of your thinking ability and the depth of understanding a work in a drawing way not verbal explanation it sounds ridiculous i'm trying to explain what i'm doing to you right now but uh, uh, doing a drawing repeatedly observe it very carefully very detailed is the best teacher one of the best teacher ever found uh, and uh, one thing is very very important is to compare a lot with the work and with nature with models I think that's it.
将可是金空头，里面有一个无穷无尽的宇宙。小小的你，在你小小的梦里，把我所有大大的事情都吹进风里。都吹进风里
没关系吗？没关系。